how are you going to stop no deal? We will put a motion of no confidence against this government in order to try and stop no deal. The Prime Minister seems desperate to take Britain out of the European Union on 31st of October without a deal. The problems of that are huge on food, medicine, jobs, industry and investment. But he also seems to be lining up with Donald Trump and all of his administration to do some kind of sweetheart trade deal, which can only be damaging to our jobs and our regulations in this country on environment, on food standards, on workers' rights, and all those kind of things. He's taken us in, away from Europe into the arms of Donald Trump by his obsession with a no-deal Brexit. I hope that they will all support the motion of no confidence that I will put, and that will ensure that this government then cannot continue with this headlong pursuit of a no-deal Brexit, and that would mean a caretaker government led by Labour, which would be a government in order to prevent a no-deal Brexit and bring about a general election so the people of this country can decide their future. Well, immediately we'd seek an extension to Article 50. That clearly is a result of negotiations with the European Union, so it's hard to say how long that would be, but obviously long enough to have a general election and for the new parliament to be able to legislate for the future. And I hope that that parliament would legislate so that the people would have a choice between the no-deal Brexit that Boris Johnson's offering or remaining in the European Union. But there has to be a popular decision on this. Under all normal parliamentary processes in Britain, the leader of the opposition takes over when the government collapses and so that seems to me absolutely in line with all the norms of the unwritten British constitution. We will put forward our policies in the general election which are for investment-led economy, are for social justice across Britain. We'll not be putting forward proposals for a coalition in the future. I think the Labour strategy of ensuring that those communities, many of whom voted leave in the EU referendum because They'd received no investment from central government because of the levels of poverty and poor quality employment in those areas get a fair deal. And under Labour, they would get a fair deal because we will have a national investment strategy that leaves no part of the country behind. My view is that uh, I'm not in favour of um, Scottish independence. The referendum did take place and a decision was reached on that. What I'd much rather is a Labour government given the chance to ensure that Scotland also gets the investment it needs, also gets the social justice it needs, and also gets the job opportunities for young people which have been denied. I would advise that we don't have another referendum. I'm not in support of Scottish independence. What I am in support of is justice for Scotland, and that means investment in Scotland by a Labour government for the whole of the UK.